Hello everybody, Disney Chris here. It's been a while since I recorded my last video, way back in mid-December, but I took a little time off uh, to get some things done on my website, and I have a lot to show you today. Uh, also, I may be getting a lot of new visitors to the site because I have updated my audio player so that more people are able to access the audio on the site and so today in addition to showing you the new audio player uh, for those who are new I'm going to go through a little tour of the site in general just a brief tour uh, if you uh, are familiar with my site and are a regular visitor this might give you uh, some ideas of things you may not have known were on the site so it may interest you as well because I'm going to point out some of the things you may have not checked out yet so that's my agenda for today and Happy New Year everybody um, I'm not going to show you any new audio because I haven't added much new audio since my last recording. I did work on more Christmas music after I recorded last, and I added more Christmas music. But a few days after Christmas, I stopped editing any audio and moved on to working exclusively on changing over my site to accommodate a brand new audio player. And, um,. I will go back to the Christmas chapter next November and complete it then. Um, so there's a lot more Christmas stuff coming next year, so you can look forward to that. Once I'm done working on all the little side projects I'm working on, I will go back to working on my Disneyland After Dark chapter and my Disneyland Bandstand chapter, which I was working on before Christmas last year, and I will get those done next. So that's my agenda. So let me show you the site as it stands today. For um, those who are new to the site, every day I have a song of the day. And for the month of January, I am featuring all uh, Disney overtures and main title themes this month. So any uh, music that would play at the beginning of a film or the beginning of an attraction in the parks, like in the queue area, uh, those are the uh, types of music you will hear all this month. But I do have a song every day of the year, and it usually ties into what time of the year it is. For February, I'll have Love Month, and I'll have a Disney love song every day of the month. I usually have a little week-long block of uh, St. Patrick's Day songs, Easter, Mother's Day, uh, Father's Day. I try to uh, have a little block of songs for Donald's birthday and Mickey's birthday. And then, of course, Thanksgiving, Christmas. And then in October, it's all Halloween songs. And I kind of alternate. And um, every other year, I'll have uh, Halloween exclusive music and then... I'll have uh, villain music, Disney villain music, just to change things up from year to year. So that's the song of the day. And if you scroll down, uh, you'll notice this is a, uh, I'll get into this a little bit later, but this is a directory to the Disneyland Magical Audio Tour. Um, and I have just updated my song of the year, which is another feature on my site. In addition to the song of the day, I have a song of the year. Um, and this is the new player. It looks really streamlined. Um, and it is an HTML5 player, which means that it can be used on basically any uh, type of computer, or any mobile device. It can be used on your smartphone. A lot of people were not able to access the audio using their smartphone, and now you can, um, be it an Apple phone or whatever manufacturer, it should work. Um, and uh, again, today's song is uh, Bed Knobs and Broomstocks, uh, Broomsticks <laughs> Overture because it's uh, Overture Month. Now, let's click on to the song of the day for January 2018 and you'll see here that it's all using the new player 
and it goes from January 1st and every day at the top I add that day's song so I'm recording this on January 7th so the latest song is posted up here down at the bottom you can uh, navigate to all the months of the past two years I did have 2015 here in December but I every year I get rid of the year one year so all of 2015 is now gone but don't worry because a lot of those songs will be used again in future song of the day so a lot of them will be returning uh, fear not but if we uh, go back and look at some of the past months I want to show you another interesting feature um, that I've added to the song of the day you won't find it on the current month you won't ever find it on the current month because it's something that I will be adding at the end of each month so you can expect to see this feature also on this page on January 31st once all of the uh, songs for that month have been posted but let's go back to let's just check out March 2016 just randomly if you click on March 2016 you see it has every song of the month and I color coded these differently because this is a block of songs for Easter time that I featured and then down here is a block of songs for St. Patrick's Day that I featured and then the regular color scheme is red and black so these are just the regular rotation of songs just randomly chosen just songs I like or feel that other people will enjoy and down here is the new feature for song of the day this is brand new this is a continual play and this will allow you to play all of the songs on this page in order without interruption and when it gets to the end of it it'll go back to the beginning and continue playing so if you want to listen to all the songs let's say you're at work and you don't have time to keep clicking on each song as you want to listen to it all you have to do is go down to the bottom of the song of the day page and you can click on the continual play and see the pictures correspond and you can play all the songs for that month in order without having to press play for each one. It'll just keep playing the song until you stop it, until you press pause. So I'm that a list. is a, a fun new feature that I hope you all enjoy. So that's what's going on with Song of the Day. Now if you want a complete directory of every song I have featured as Song of the Day, you can go to you can click on this link which is at the bottom of every page of Song of the Day or up at the top on the main table of contents. It's called Song of the Day Index. If you click on that, it'll bring you to a page that shows you every song from 2016, January 2016 up to December 2016 because we're still working on January that'll get added at the end of the month um, it'll show you every song that I featured as song of the day now I don't have a search option but if uh, you are looking for a specific song all you have to do is on your computer screen on your keyboard hit uh, the control s and down at the bottom of the page it should bring up Oh, I didn't do the right thing. Uh, control F. Control F for find. It's not search, it's find. So you see this little box down here. Type in what you're looking for. Um, let's say you're looking for zip uh, d do da. And then hit on highlight all. And then it'll, it'll, um, show you every instance of zippity doo -dah on the page. It'll highlight it in a color uh, purple or whatever that is. Fuchsia, I guess. So that shows you um, if you're looking for a particular song. That's how you can find it. Or if you're looking for anything on my site, that's how you can find it without having a search option. Um, Let's, let me show you a couple things that um, are not as uh, heavily promoted by myself that are also available on my site. Um, let's go backwards. And the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to give you a little sales pitch here.
<laughs> up at the top of the uh, the, the last uh, option up at the table of the contents on the top is a donate to site. There are two ways that you can contribute to DisneyChris.com. One way is uh, a one-time only donation via PayPal. To do that, you just click on this orange button here, and it will bring you to a screen that looks like this. All you have to do is type in whatever amount you want. Also, if you want to make it a monthly donation and you don't want to do um, Patreon, but you just want to do it through PayPal, that's, that's uh, an option too. And you can just click on this box and make it a monthly donation. Or you can just make it a one-time only donation and not click on that box. And you can either donate with PayPal or with a credit card. So the other option is Patreon. You click on this link down here. It'll bring you to my Patreon page and you will be able to um, navigate in order to become a Patreon by clicking on uh, this orange box here and it'll walk you through all the steps. Now the reason I'm really bringing this up is not because I really feel this is part of the tour of my site but because I just want to um, let you all know that the new media player that I've added to make things a lot more convenient and user-friendly for everybody is going to end up costing me uh, some extra money in order to have that on my site. Um, uh, every bit of, uh, I'm given an allotment of uh, disk space by my web host and I've already gone way over that and I have to pay an additional fee every month um, for them to uh, host all the audio content that I've put on the site because there's so much on here and um, every time I add a new song or new audio little by little by little that amount creeps up more and more and more and I have thousands of songs to add especially to the Disneyland Magical Audio Tour and it's just gonna get more and more expensive and at some point I'm not going to be able to do it anymore. I'm not going to be able to add anything anymore because I can't afford it. I am a disabled person and I am on a fixed income and there's nothing I can really do about that. So if you really love what I do and support what I do and want me to be able to continue to add more audio content in the future, please consider a one-time donation or becoming a contributor, contributor on Patreon. And remember, don't feel like you have to donate a lot. A dollar a month is wonderful. If you can donate a dollar a month and 10 people donate a dollar a month, that's $10. It's not about amount. It's the amount of people that contribute. It's not about big donators. It's about several small donators, and that's what I really would prefer. Um, if you could just donate a dollar a month, that's $12 a year for all of the content on my site. It would be so appreciated, um, and uh, that will keep the gears turning for DisneyChris.com well into the future. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is Disney Web Links. This is not something I generally talk about, and it's really something I should go through and update a little bit, um, and I probably will sometime in the next couple months. It's just I have so much else I'm working on for the site. This has never been a priority for me. Um, but th this just kind of shows you a lot of the websites that I frequent and that I, you know, support. And um, it gives you uh, podcasts that I've listened to. Some of them are no longer <laughs> in production, so I really do need to update this. Um, it gives you... A lot of Disney history sites that I go to. It gives you some music sites that I visit. A lot of people ask me where I get my music from. A lot of that comes from these sites that I've put on here. Um, and so be sure to check out my favorite web links if you want to know, you know, what I do on the web. <laughs> it's basically some of my most frequented Disney related sites on the web. Now I already showed you the song of the day index, but I also have a Disneyland audio tour index. And for those who don't know, the audio tour is uh, uh, basically a comprehensive collection of Disneyland, not Disney's California Adventure, but basically just the original Disneyland park in California. 
and so far I have uh, 1,527 audio tracks in this collection and at least a thousand if not more to add to the collection so the reason I don't focus on Walt Disney World or the uh, overseas parks or even Disney's California Adventure is because I'm so wrapped up in the audio that I have to add to the Disneyland Magical Audio Tour that I need to take care of that situation <laughs> before I can even think about working on anything else once I do get this uh, collection mostly completed, I may consider working on a Disney's California Adventure collection. That seems to be uh, what most people want me to do next, so that I have basically the whole California resort covered on my site. And it will take me, uh, honestly, it will probably take me two to three or maybe even five years to add all the new content in just the Disneyland section. But once that's done, I definitely, you know, want to move on to a new project. And Disney's California Adventure is definitely a contender for what I will work on next. But it it will be several years before I get to that, just so you know. Um, this basically breaks down each chapter and gives you a listing of every single track on each chapter. And if you want to get to the chapter... You can just, at the bottom of each section, it says click here to get to that page. So again, you can do the control F if you're looking for a specific song. Let's say you're looking for great moments with Mr. Lincoln. You just type in great moments with Mr. Lincoln and it'll show you everywhere where that's located. Down here, control F. And uh, then you can uh, get to that chapter by clicking on click here and that's just what I did and now it's going to open that page um, and you'll be able to if you if you really don't feel like hunting for it you can do control F again and then do great moments with Mr. Lincoln again and it'll highlight it again on this page if you so choose to do that let's scroll down to where great moments with Mr. Lincoln is and type in that See, now it's highlighting everywhere where it says Lincoln on this page. <laughs> you have to click on highlight all or it'll just highlight the first the first one, which is always, I guess, for looking at this, it's in green and then every one after that is in purple. So you know where it starts at because the first one is green. So you know if you see a purple one, there's one up further. Until you see a green one, then you know that's where it starts. So I had a lot of Lincoln on this page. This is the um, uh, Town Square chapter, and that's where Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is located. So it's no wonder that I have the word Lincoln listed several times on this page. Now, let's go back to the beginning of the Magical Tour um, in a few minutes, and I'll kind of show you what that's all about, if you don't know already. Um, and for those who do, I'll give you a little uh, fresher course, refresher course. But let's first go in order here like I have been and go to the audio editor's blog. This is where the video that I'm making right now will be posted. As you can see, I have the last video that I made, which is still up uploading right now, plus uh, Melanie Bush, a good friend of mine, uh, watches the video after I record it and she does a terrific job at uh, writing notes and adding pictures and kind of giving a written form of the video and she will likely do the same thing for the video that you are watching right now and that will be added to this page as well. Um, I'm going to be um, probably even working on this today adding another page to this because I have as you can see a 2013 and a 2014 page and on this page I have everything from uh, 2015 up to the present so this page is getting really really long and long story short this page is too long so I'm going to be splitting it up and adding an additional page to this uh, section here so I'm going to probably work on that today or tomorrow. 
Next uh, thing is the character border. The character border is something I worked on a couple years ago and I actually have this border all around the ceiling of my apartment. You know, the wall that goes right up to the ceiling. And I thought that I would share it with everybody because I'm kind of proud of the work I put into this. Now, I didn't draw any of these pictures. I just cut them out and kind of assembled them all together. And as you can see, each one ends where the other one begins. So if you put them next to each other, it'll create one long chain. And you too can make a border to put around your apartment if you so choose. I just put this here sort of as, you know, something for people to have or to look at and enjoy. Um, so that's just there for posterity, I guess. Now the next thing I want to show you is the Song of the Year timeline. And this has recently been updated with the brand new audio player, as you can see. And this basically goes through every year since they first started doing anything involving sound with the Disney company, which of course was Steamboat Willie in 1928. And I go through every year from 1928 and I have selected one example of a song from that year uh, going from 1928 up until uh, 2017. And I have it split up into four chapters. This page goes up to the end of the 40s. If you click on the 1950 to 1969, it has the 50s and 60s. And then, of course, the 70s. And then I'm going to skip ahead and show you the most recent page. And the most recent page is uh, the 1990s to the present. And again every year has a song and I just added this year's song about a week ago uh, which is remember me from the new movie Coco so that's this uh, this past year's representative and of course I'll have to wait a little longer before it can add a song for 2018 um, probably will add it December of 2018 I'll add the song to represent the year that we're currently in so that's the song of the year timeline now I don't have a continual play for the song of the year timeline and I kinda did that on purpose because I kinda want people to kinda explore the songs and kinda go through them as they are I don't want it to be in a continual play mode I kinda want people to play with the songs and just go through and pick the ones out that they like so this one set up as a little bit different more of a interactive experience than the other uh, audio sections on my site. Song of the Day Archive I just showed you already and that shows you the current songs from the month that I have just featured and then it has a directory of all the past months so you can go back you don't have to listen to the song on the day I post it I keep an archive of all the songs going back two years um, 2016 will remain intact all of 2016 until December and then I'll delete 2016 and it'll just have 2017 2018 and then 2019 so each year I purge one but I do it at the end of the year so 2016 will be here all year um, I don't take it out month by month I'm, I just do it all at once at the end of the year um, if that makes any sense the Disneyland story is uh, something that I wrote about the history of Disneyland, sort of a brief history, and I put in a lot of fun pictures. And it just kind of, for those who aren't as familiar with the history of Disneyland, I mean, this is nothing um, that the general Disney fan doesn't already know, but this is more for people that are not as familiar with the story of how Disneyland started and all that so I wrote this little article here and put in all these fun pictures for that and that's been there for a few years and feel free to read that check that out check out the pictures and whatnot so that's always been on my site and last but not least let's talk about the Disneyland magical audio tour and of course this is probably the most popular feature of the site and again, I updated this with the new player. Um, every track now has the HTML5 friendly track players. 
um, and you can play them on any device now, be it a mobile device or a um, desktop or a laptop. Um, you can also play it basically on any browser like uh, Firefox, which I'm currently showing you Firefox, or Chrome, or Explore, or Safari, and I don't know the names of any of the other ones, but I think those are the four most popular, and about 95% of people use one of those four. Um, probably about 50% of you use Chrome. Um, I prefer Firefox. I just, I don't know, I'm a creature of habit, and I've been using Firefox for a long time, and I just, I've never really gotten used to dealing with Chrome, so... That's where I'm at with that. <laughs> anyway, um, this is uh, the um, way it looks now with the new player. And down at the bottom, I always had a continual play, but now I'm using the new format, which I just showed you on the, um, the um, song of the day at the bottom. I also have this at the bottom of each page of the... Disneyland Magical Audio Tour and again you click on it and you can listen to all of the songs on the page in a continual mode where you don't have to click on each song as they play so you could put this on and leave it on all day while you're at work and you could probably be working three days and it would still be not have repeated itself yet because there's hours of music on each page um, and if you want to skip a song, you can do that by scrolling down and just clicking on a different song. Welcome to this. Head to whatever song. But if you like that, and skip it. If you so choose, or you can just listen to every song and not click on it and do it that way. It's up to you. The choice is yours. So briefly, I'm just going to go through what each of these chapters are. Um, the page we're on currently is the Disneyland Main Gate, which encompasses uh, everything from... Now, this, this just to give you an idea, this audio tour is not all about present-day Disneyland. It's about Disneyland from its inception up to the present. So it has things from the past, things from the present things from its construction time, you know, everything. Um, so the main gate, of course, would uh, cover the original Disneyland parking lot. It would cover um, the Esplanade area or the main gate area of the park, the ticket booths, the train station, all of the things that are in the entrance of Disneyland before you enter into Town Square. And it also includes things that are generally about Disneyland as an overview. For example, I have um, a few things uh, by Walt that kind of describe the park as a whole. Um, and, those, and then advertisements for the park as a whole. And just anything that's kind of like an overview of Disneyland in general would also be found on this page. Um, I have a few things uh, that are about the cast members, which in a sense is kind of an overview of the entire park because the cast members are involved in the entire park. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, the next chapter, Town Square, that's everything in Town Square, attractions, restaurants, City Hall, great moments with Mr. Lincoln, all those things. Then the Main Street USA page is Main Street USA proper, you know, from where Town Square becomes a single um, uh, boulevard um, from, you know, the, um, the where the Main Street Emporium is located all the way down to Coke Corner, that's main street and then central plaza would be anything in the circle at the end of main street disneyland on parade self-explanatory that covers all of the parades through the years these are self-explanatory so i'll just read them out adventureland new orleans square frontierland now i have rivers of america separated and that basically includes all of the attractions uh, along the river or on the rivers of America. Bear Country and Critter Country on one chapter. For those who don't know, Critter Country used to be called Bear Country, and it has changed quite a lot over the years. Then I have Fantasyland divided into two sections. 
the original Fantasyland, which was from 1955 to 1982, and then the current Fantasyland, 1983 to the present. Now, some of these chapters are a little sparse in their content. I'll show you original Fantasyland as an example. Each chapter has a special color coding. I give each chapter, like the color for this chapter is kind of this, um, I don't know what you would call this, kind of a orangish pink, pink, pink orange, kind of a red, red, or a red, red pink, dark pink. I don't know. Anyway, I tried to kind of pick a color that kind of reminds me thematically of what each land represents. But anyway, my point was that there are only a few songs on this chapter. So you're probably saying to yourself, why did you split up Fantasyland into two chapters when you only have 22 songs on the original Fantasyland chapter? And then if you click on the new Fantasyland chapter, I only have... Uh, 27 songs. Why don't you just put it all on one page? Well, the reason is is because these pages have so much that I need to add to them that I'm anticipating um, having, you know, 80 or more tracks on both of these pages. So I split them up in advance of all of the content that I will be adding in the future. So if you get to pages that are really sparse, that's the reason why. Now I want to show you, of course, we've got Mickey's Toontown as its own chapter. And then I want to show you this page because this is a little bit different how I had to set this one up. This is live shows and special events. Any stage shows or special promotional events that have been held in the park over the years. Uh, anything involving live entertainment, that's all on this chapter. And the reason I wanted to show you this chapter is because at the bottom, you'll notice it has two players. And the reason I did that is because there was so much content on this page that if I tried to save it all on one player, it crashed. So I had no choice but to split it. There's that much on this page that I had to split it. And there's two other pages that are like this. The other two pages that are split up into two players are uh, the um, Disneyland After Dark and Disneyland Bandstand. All the other pages have one player, but these three have two, and they look basically the same as this does. Otherwise, it's the same, but you could only play tracks 1 through 49 on this player and then tracks 50 through 85 on this player which is plenty, believe me, because it's hours and hours and hours of music. Okay, so the next chapter would be um, original Tomorrowland, um, and then Tomorrowland split up into four chapters. Again, it doesn't look like it needs to be split up currently, but I have so much to add to each page that eventually it will need to be separated, so I kind of did it ahead of time in anticipation of needing to separate it. So um, probably, the, in fact, not probably, definitely, the page with the least amount of tracks on it is the Tomorrowland of the 1960s, which only has 18 tracks currently. But at some point, I will be adding quite a few more. So um, then after the four Tomorrowland pages, which is... Um, the original Tomorrowland of the 50s, the 60s, then Tomorrowland of the 70s and 80s, and then the 90s up to the present. And at some point, the 90s is going to be so far behind that I'm probably going to have to put the 90s with the 70s and 80s and go from the 2000s up to the present for the present day Tomorrowland. But I haven't quite reached the point where I feel like I need to do that yet. But eventually that might have to happen. The next page is uh, dedicated all to the Disneyland Hotel. Now this is really the only off property uh, outside of the berm other than the welcome to Disneyland page which is the entrance into the park this is really the only page that kind of travels outside of Disneyland and the reason I decided to include it is because it really has such a long and storied history that is so connected to the original Disneyland that it really needs to be represented if you're going to properly represent Disneyland Park. So that's why I have a Disneyland Hotel chapter, but I don't have a chapter for the other resorts in Disneyland because Disneyland Hotel is a little bit more special than the others.
let's face it. <laughs> and Disneyland After Dark is all the entertainment in Disneyland After Dark, obviously. And Disneyland Bandstand is, uh, I'll click on this one. This is one I'm currently working on. And I will be working on it, hopefully soon, again. Um, this is basically all of the different live uh, groups who have performed at the bandstand venues in Disneyland, from big bands to Dixieland to rock and roll, country music, etc. That's what this page represents. And again, down at the bottom, I have two players. And believe it or not, this might actually eventually, the, just, just this chapter, but it might actually eventually end up having to be three players because there is so much on this page <laughs> that it uh because each track is really long unlike other pages where the tracks are could be from 5 10 20 minutes most of the tracks on this page can be 30 45 to an hour in some cases over an hour so the length of each track is so long that it really needs it doesn't fit so this this page might get another player at some point we'll see what happens um now the next chapter which i've talked about quite a lot in the past month is christmas in disneyland originally i had all of the holidays on one page and just recently i split up the christmas page so that it's a separate chapter because i added so much to this chapter I've got over 90, I've got almost 100 tracks on this one page. Uh, so that I decided to split it up and put uh, the holidays that are not Christmas on a separate page. So all the other holidays other than Christmas have its own chapter now. And it's called Holiday Time in Disneyland. Originally the chapter was called Holiday Time in Disneyland, but now I have Holiday Time in Disneyland and Christmas time in Disneyland. So it's two chapters now. Um, other than that, it's the same content. I didn't change anything about about these. So this includes Halloween and Thanksgiving and Easter and St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day and Fourth of July, some international festivals, and New Year's, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So that's what that's all about. That's why there's a Christmas and a holiday. They are different. Um, Disneyland anniversaries, any birthdays or Disneyland anniversaries that have been celebrated, such as Mickey's birthday, Donald's birthday, Disneyland's 25th anniversary, any anniversary or birthday things, that's on this page. Um, Disneyland Records, not to be confused with just the general label of Disneyland Records, is records produced that feature content from Disneyland the park. Um, so any type of record album that has content that's about or live music from or uh, music inspired by Disneyland the park is on this uh, page. And it goes through up to the 90s. Um, there's not much after the 60s and 70s, but there's uh, one album in the 90s that I decided to include. So that's what Disneyland Records is. Now then, at the end of the collection, I have two pages um, about Walt Disney on, t on television. But this is basically only things, with some exceptions, only things that are involving Disneyland the park. So anytime Disney did something on TV that had to do with Disneyland park, so not just general Disney entertainment on TV. Most of this is stuff that has a tie-in with the park itself. So the first chapter is called uh, Your Host, Walt Disney, and this basically covers all of the television stuff that happened during Walt Disney's lifetime. The second half is The Wonderful World of Disney, which includes everything after Walt Disney passed away up to the 90s. I kind of just go to the 90s because it, after that, Disney kind of stopped focusing so much on creating content about the parks. I mean, a lot of stuff is on the Travel Channel, but it's just kind of generic stuff. The music isn't anything special. It's not really worth posting the audio for it. So this basically goes up to the 90s. And it covers some of the video uh, entertainment, the, you know, the home entertainment that was produced as well. So that's a basic tour of the um, 
the Disneyland Magical Audio Tour section. I hope that wasn't too much uh, repeat information for anybody. But one other thing I want to mention is it's a lot more difficult now that I'm using this new player to add new, as I add new songs to the collection, um, I'd have to rebuild the entire player each time I add a new song. So I'm not going to do that. What I will do is, um, after um, several new songs have been added to a page, at that point I will update the continual play. They'll be available to listen to individually on the page right away as soon as I'm done editing them. But as far as the continual play, those tracks won't be added until I have quite a few to add so that I won't constantly be redoing this over and over and over again. So at least 15 tracks will have to have been added before I will update the player. Currently, everything on the site is on every player. But at some point, as I work on things and add more stuff, there will be a few songs missing from the player because I can't update them each time. It's not set up where I can just add in a song. I have to redo the whole player from scratch every time I want to add even one song or change a picture or change if I find a typo I have to start all over from scratch so um, that's not something that I'm gonna be doing as frequently so it will not always have every song that you'll find on the page but currently as of January 7th 2018 it does have every song that's on the page so but that could change very soon. I just wanted to let you all know that so you don't say, well, hey, why is this song missing? Anyway, that brings us back to our home page. I'm going to be uh, tweaking the home page a little bit today. My goal for today is to work on the, um, the uh, audio editor's blog, which I talked about a little while ago. I'm going to split it up into another page so that I don't have as so much on one page anymore but I'm also going to update my home page so that the most current vlog including the one I'm recording right now will also be able to be viewed from my home page I'm going to create a little area to post the most recent video on the home page and hopefully get a little bit more notice of the video that I create um, It'll probably, that will go here. It might even replace this little section here because this is kind of like before I started making videos is when I added this little section. It's kind of outdated now because I'm doing things a little bit differently with the YouTube stuff. So that's going to get updated today, hopefully. So that may change by the end of the day if you want to check out my home page later on after you watch this video or if it's the day after I've posted this you'll probably notice some changes there so uh, hopefully all of you are up to date now on what's going on with the site I have quite a few projects going on right now before I can get to adding any new uh, content as far as audio content to the Disneyland Magical Audio Tour but uh, I am going to go back to my bi-weekly schedule of releasing a video every other Friday starting not this coming Friday but the Friday after that you can expect to see a new vlog video um, every other Friday as was what was going on in 2017 I'm gonna go back to that schedule um, and uh, then I have a few things I need to do for my um, podcast and I'm gonna be a guest on another podcast that I have to do some research for and just a few things I need to get done before I'm able to work on any new content but hopefully within the next week or so I will be able to start adding new audio again to the site and get back to my regular routine so I hope everybody had a fantastic holiday a fantastic new year I hope the new year ahead brings everybody happiness and prosperity and joy and I will talk to you all not next Friday but the Friday after that bye bye